In this JavaScript video, we're going to be talking about functions. And functions are really useful in programming languages because they provide a way for you to run very short amounts of code, um, probably multiple times. So for instance, if you wanted to add numbers together, you can call a function and all that function does is add the numbers together. And you can do ones for a subtraction or whatever you want to do. So for this video, we're going to do a function for greeting, like when you go up to greet somebody. So we start with the word function, and then we name our function. In this case, just greeting. And then parentheses denotes that there's a function, or that it is a function. And then we have our curly braces, just like we do in the conditionals. So this code will run when we call this method, or this function. So we're just going to do a simple hello. Now, if we try to run this, we'll notice that nothing happens because our program knows that this function exists, but we haven't called it yet. So in order to call a function and to run it, we need to use its name and then parentheses to denote that it's the function that we're looking for. So now if we run this, we get hello. Now, sometimes we also wanna add in some information so like if you're adding two numbers, the two numbers might not always be the same. So you'd like to give the function some information to work with. For ours, we're working with the word hello, and this is a greeting. So it'd be really nice if somebody had a name to go with that. And then we'll just tack on the name at the end here. So hello, name. Now if we run this, we'll get hello undefined because we haven't told it what name we're going to be using. So we could do like Jeff and then hello Jeff, but that's not quite as fun. Let's get the information from the user. So we'll do var name equals prompt. And then what's your name? And then we'll use that information name and we'll put it right inside this function call. So we're passing the value of name into this function, and then we use it inside the function. Hello, Steve. Hello, Steve. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that these variables are different than these variables. I mean, they end up being the same thing, but they don't have to have the same name. So for this, we can just write blah, just to make a point here and then we'd have to type in blah here. So we ask the user their name, it gets stored in blah, we call the method, and then we give it the information of blah, but then up here it gets renamed to the variable name, and then it gets passed in and used. So say Mary. Hello Mary. And that's the basics of functions. 